Hi, everyone. Today, we're going to talk about real-time translation for voice use cases. Imagine a scenario where a customer calls through a voice channel. We'll then transfer the call to a contact center agent who communicates by typing, but the customer will still receive the responses as voice output. Before diving into the flows and the setup, let's quickly discuss the benefits. Providing a world-class customer experience while supporting every language can be incredibly challenging. With our real-time translation, even when the contact center agent is typing responses, they can do so in their preferred language. Meanwhile, the customer can speak and hear everything in their preferred language. This ensures full accessibility and enhances customer service within contact centers. Now, let's quickly have a look into the flows. So I have set up an example flow where we start off with the set session config. In here, the only thing that I actually enabled is the silence overlay. This is to ensure that in case the backend needs a little bit more time, that we hear some typing sounds so we can overcome the latency. Then we have our welcome say note, and the important part is within the question note, because in here, if we go to the voice gateway channel, go to the recognizer, I have enabled to recognize the language. We have added three languages in here, German, Turkish, and Spanish, to recognize those languages. Once a language has been recognized, we are basically looking for the language code that we will receive. And then we have some child nodes. So basically, what we have in here for all of them, it's basically the same. Uh, we first set the translation. So if the language code was German, we basically say um, the user input language is German and the flow language is English. Then we have a set session config, because of course, if we now need to um, recognize everything in German and have the output in German, we ensure that we set our TTS language um, to German and select the voice, and we do the same with the recognizer. You need to do this for basically every single language that you have added here. And then we just have our handover to agent node because we are now not doing a voice transfer, but we're actually doing a basic handover to a contact center agent who's typing. One more thing that I have configured is a co-pilot workspace because what is easier for the agent to just copy paste responses. To demo this, we are going to use live agent. So let me get into my live agent and let's give it a call. Welcome to Cognigy. What is your preferred language? Turkish konuşabilir miyim? Hoş geldin. Benim adım Yasemin. Bugün size nasıl yardımcı olabilirim? Kedimi uçağın içine alabilir miyim? Evet, 8 kilogramın altında olan ve uygun bir taşıma çantasına sığan kedinizi kabine getirebilirsiniz. Köpeğimi de getirebilir miyim? Evet, köpeğinizi 8 kilogramın altındaysa ve bir kutuya sığıyorsa getirebilirsiniz. Köpeğim daha ağır. Köpeğiniz 8 kilogramın üzerindeyse, çekkin işleminden geçirilmeli ve hayvanlar için ayrılmış özel alanda uçmalıdır. Tamam, çok teşekkürler, iyi günler. Bir şey değil. İyi günler. I really hope you enjoyed this video and you will try it out yourself. Have fun exploring.